guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere, so let's go ahead and get started with the last episode of season one in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Better accept that. Now's not the time to really talk about being horny. Maybe later when you're alone. <laughs> Down, puppy. Cody. This is not going to be good. <laughs> of course.
I'm recording. Uh, I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, thank Let you. your doodle Well, I know it's very summery. I can smell that from here. For luck. <laughs> he just, you know, marking his territory. <laughs> Many guys do that. Hmm. You're not still rubbing her butt, are you? I'm not. You know what? Mm -mm. I gotta keep rubbing my Oh, are we going to hear the full song of it finally? Finally, oh my god. <laughs>
Y'all could just end the episode and left out. We ain't even gotta watch anything else. It was so good. What's up? What are supposed to be like the seven dollar cents? Oh, never mind. Sixteen dollars. Mm -hmm. So you appear just to. Tell me all. Okay. <laughs> You're doing fine, mother. <laughs> really why I mean, but hold on. If you guys are all in school, are you even allowed to get drunk? We're like, what, high school student? Plus, the drinking age is like 20? <laughs> oh, it looks so good. My baby is
I kind of figured that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. If I'm making you hungry, just go get something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they probably will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> okay, so even though we're only like what eighteen minutes into this episode, and we got five minutes left. Okay. All right, so final thoughts on the first half of the show. Honestly, um, I enjoyed it a lot. It's different. I think after episode one at first, I thought I wasn't going to like it. And so, Chuck, especially like when I um when I got asked to do the show, and I typically I do like a little bit of research to see like what it's about and everything. I really thought I wasn't going to like the show. I was like, okay, it has a weird title name and ish like that. But funny enough, in the end, I really enjoyed this. And I really am glad that the person who asked me to watch this did request it. And it's different. It gives me a little bit of romance, but not, like, too much that it's overpowering. Because as someone who loves romance a lot, I was I was like, so I can let it be a little bit of, like, action. And then the other, a little bit of romance instead of it being, like, overpowering each other. But... It was so good, and I'm glad that these two were together, and they get to do it. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. <laughs> but then what about the six demons? And you five are? Something's coming.
Okay. Brother, serious, right? <laughs> Is this seriously how they're going to end season one going into season two? Because we got like, what, maybe less than, yeah, a minute left? <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh my god. Same, Tony. Same. <laughs> I mean, he just did it in a nutshell. Like, oh my god. <laughs> he looks like he just woke up. <laughs> but, like, what the fuck is going on? I'm so making confused. <laughs> but, okay. The five people who came in, the two who, um, who were throwing the baseball and then everything. Those were the five people who came in the first time when um, Lester Trace was doing what she was doing. Okay, what the heck is about to happen now? I mean, it's a weird way to end season one or really the first half because it's 26, uh, yeah, 26? Yeah, 26 episodes all together. And I mean, this is ending the first half of supposedly this, the first season, even though... It's two seasons kind of wrapped up together, but I mean, still, season, the first half of this show, season one was really good, very strong. There were some low points in it, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. I am glad that both Twitty and Horizon are finally together, the fact that they finally freaking kiss and everything, because I mean, it's there now, they're a couple, and it's just so freaking adorable, but now it's just wondering, with this new, um, the new villains, what, what they essentially want, I mean... You know, the kill me all situation, like, what the freak does that mean? Of course, you're wanting to say, hey, I want you to kill me, but why? What did you do? You leave this message and then you just ultimately leave. Something about that wasn't really right to me. How, who has a message, like, who shows up, leaves a message, and then leaves? Like, isn't that a little weird to me? Like, to you, to anyone who possibly watched this show the first time when it came out? Maybe? Uh, possibly in episode 14 or episode 1 for the second season probably will have a little more answers, but still will leave me a lot with a lot of questions, but we ain't gonna know until I watch it in a second. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. 
Oh, hey, cutie. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he would be naked. And shouldn't he close? So, I mean, are we going to talk about the fact that, you know, Buddy's nude and shit and why um, he don't got clothes on? I'm just saying. I, I got some questions, bro. Like, I mean, out of all, like, I'm thinking he was just shirtless. No. <laughs> You just started out when I'm just being weird. I don't like the fact that you saw, like, you started with my lesbians, or one's looking away and the other one's falling down. Don't tell me one of them's gonna die. I don't want to see that. No. <laughs> She might betray her. Oh my god. She's gonna betray your girlfriend. No. Now my fingers are like sticky because of the ice cream and freaking snicker doodle. <laughs> The hell is that? Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she could honestly kill someone by the way she throws it down, but mm. you never know. Of course, it would be somebody else.
<laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my you precious thing. Well, there she goes. Go, Mazda, go. <laughs> Yeah, my kids, you don't have to do this. It's 88. <laughs> 
Yeah, but she might drop it because... Oh, oh my god. No, he just ripped it. Go lay down, Cody. Holy shit, pretty. Cody, go. I'm like almost done with the episode. I got like eight minutes, seven.
Just be careful, though. Hey, excuse me? The first two, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? It's <laughs> <laughs> hmm.
I don't think so. Holy shit. She doesn't even need to say it. She just thinks it and then it's just there. She pray though. Okay, I think everyone is in a run for their money. I mean, these new characters seem, like, badass as fuck. I mean, wasn't expecting this. I love the fact that it did initially continue where um, episode 13 had ended. Because I think if they probably didn't continue where episode 13 would have possibly ended, I would have been probably hella pissed. Because the fact is, I've seen a lot of shows do that where they have a big old either open ending or a to be continued in their last episode for like maybe the first half of the show and then when the following episode comes out either a week or two weeks later it's like um either a couple of weeks to a month later after that and then you're sitting here wondering well i want to know what the freak happened next and then some people are like oh well if you saw this you would have known what the heck is gonna happen but like i shouldn't have to watch something else before the new season to understand that i get that i get that some people say it, that's how it's supposed to be watched but then I also am like I think it's better to just kind of say okay let's just start right back where it's left off because like Simpho Gear did that between season one and season two which is G and somebody left me a message that I um I should watch something before and I kind of wish they would have like even though because the app my reaction for those two episodes came out today um for it and now I have to probably watch it either tomorrow or um whenever so that I can either do a reaction on it or just watch it on my on my own I don't really know but still I do like the fact that they just continued it right where it left off that is good I mean <laughs> a lot of things happened in this episode wasn't really surprised about some of them but at the same time yes I was surprised but these new characters seem very interesting got some questions and of course it ain't gonna be answered until the next few weeks we have like excuse me I felt that <laughs> <laughs> 12 more episodes before we figure out what could possibly all of this mean and such because these new characters could I don't think they're gonna be the new villains of it because we know who the villains are from that ending in 13 so who knows but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, so as I said in both Simpho Gear and Monogatari, um, for the Patreons, I might have this um, the next episodes of each show come out instead of on Friday, on Thursday, since next week is Christmas. And I kind of want to have it come out a little bit early because I may be busy next week as well between packing and everything. I'm not 100% sure. I may have my answer by tomorrow after I'm done doing some stuff. But um, if not, it'll probably come out on Friday. But like I said, I'll either see you guys for Patreons either next Thursday or next Friday. And then for everybody else next Tuesday for episodes 15 and 16. Bye, guys.